Howdy folks, Brett here with another Windows 11 tutorial. Disabling unnecessary programs that automatically launch in the background when you start up your Windows 11 PC can offer a few benefits. Having fewer apps that run when your computer starts up will give it a faster boot time. It will reduce the unnecessary memory and CPU usage leading to better performance. And on laptops, you'll have longer battery life with fewer background apps running leading to less power drain. Coming up ahead, I'll be showing you two different ways to disable those programs that automatically launch at startup and take a deeper dive to let you know what is generally safe to disable and what to keep enabled. The first way to disable startup apps is to use the task manager. There's a few ways to open it. You could right click on the start menu in the taskbar. This will bring up the power user menu to select it. Most people to open it, right click on an empty space on their taskbar and select it that way. My preferred way to open the task manager is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the control key plus shift key and the escape key. With it open, select startup apps in the left pane. You'll see four columns, name, publisher, status, and the last one here, which is useless, startup impact. The way I prefer to go through these is to click on status until it has all those enabled at the top and those disabled below. Let's go back to the top here. To disable a startup app, select it. Let's disable the executable for Microsoft Edge. And then here at the top, click on disable. There might be a slight delay when doing this. You can also disable by right clicking the app name and selecting disable. A question people have asked me probably more than 100 times over the years is, what is safe to disable? Generally, it's safe to disable music and other media apps like Spotify, VLC, and Netflix. Game launchers like Steam, the Epic Games Launcher, and EA App. Communication apps like Microsoft Teams, Slack, and Discord. If you don't need them immediately when your computer boots up, and updaters for Google, Adobe, etc. are not needed at startup either. No worries, those apps will still get updated when you launch them. Apps you should consider keeping enabled are security and antivirus software, like Microsoft Defender, Bitdefender, Avast, and the many others. Also keep essential apps for your operating system enabled as well. If you don't know what something is, right-click on it and select Search Online. This will open a page in your web browser, giving you more information. Another way to disable startup programs is to go into Windows Settings. If you're brand new to Windows, to open the Settings app, you could right-click on the Start menu to bring up the Power User menu and select Settings. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key and I key. In the sidebar, here on the left, click on Apps. Then here on the right, select Startup. You might have to scroll down for this one. Here you'll see a full list of apps that want to start up when you boot your PC, each with their own toggle to turn them on or off. For those that you don't want loading up at startup that are turned on, click the toggle, turn them off. So let's do that for ShareX and Xbox. It's that easy. No matter which method I showed you to do this, Task Manager, or the Settings app. Just do what's most comfortable for you to do. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. I'm curious, which method do you prefer to disable startup apps? The Task Manager or the Settings app? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.